Dumalang Bahalo. My name is Rebecca Klein and I'm the project manager for Cheetah Conservation Botswana. We set up this project in 2003 to address the need for urgent cheetah conservation in the nation. Cheetahs are an endangered species. There is only about 10,000 of them left on the planet today. A hundred years ago there was a hundred thousand, so that's a 90% decline in the last century. And if the current rate of decline continues, cheetahs may well be extinct in the next 20 years and be only a memory in our picture books. So Cheetah Conservation Botswana was set up to conserve these animals for future generations of Botswana people and people around the world. I came to Botswana five years ago to volunteer at Mokolodi Nature Reserve and I was lucky enough to have the fantastic job of caring for two cheetah brothers. Now their mother had been killed by livestock farmers in Khansi and they were hand raised so they became completely tame and habituated to people. And one of my jobs was looking after them every day and making sure that they were healthy, they were getting the right foodstuffs and they were having enough excitement in their lives. I was very inspired by my interaction with these two beautiful brothers and I set out to want to get more involved in cheetah conservation. I thought I would volunteer with an organization. But I looked around and I found that there wasn't any organizations for their conservation. Cheetahs were being killed at a high rate, as in many countries in Africa. The world's fastest land animal was actually seen as nothing more than a threat and a pest to be killed, shot, trapped, run down with dogs and horses and ultimately removed from the land. But predators are an important part of a functioning ecosystem. They keep antelope populations healthy, which then keeps the grazing healthy and cattle operations and wild game can exist in harmony if good methods of livestock management and non-lethal predator control are implemented. People and wildlife can live together. It is a very real possibility. Botswana is a, almost a Noah's Ark in Africa with so many wildlife species, the highest population of cheetahs, wild dogs, lions, elephants. It's an incredibly rich resource. So we have set Cheetah Conservation Botswana up as a multidisciplinary project and it includes scientific research, community outreach and education programs. With the scientific research, we're trying to better understand cheetahs in Botswana. How big are their territory sizes? What are their behaviors? What land uses do they prefer? What habitats do they do best in? So we can further understand the needs of Botswana's cheetahs. And through providing this information to the wildlife department, um, a better future can be found for the cheetahs and their habitat needs. An incredibly important aspect of the project is community outreach. People see the cheetahs and many predators today as a pest and a threat to their livestock. Studies have been done to show that Livestock loss, in reality, only 1% is actually attributed to predators. A lot more comes from drought, from disease, from bad management. So we really need to look at Botswana's farming situation as a whole and see how we can better improve this to enable people and wildlife to coexist. So we go around to affected communities with a mobile workshop and this information that we're promoting details how to identify predators uh, from tracks, from clues and signs, from kill characteristics. And then if you do have a problem predator on your land, what is the best thing to do? What kind of techniques can you implement that will mean that your livestock losses will be decreased? This includes increasing your fertility rates, your weaning rates, uh, improved monitoring on your farm, effective corral designs, and the use of livestock guarding animals such as dogs and donkeys, which can be trained to be very effective livestock guards. Um, effective use of herding and different techniques, some of them very simple, many of them traditional, but which need to be used more in Botswana today in order to improve the current situation. And we also go out to schools and educational institutions to raise awareness with children, uh, to engender a feeling of national pride in the cheetah and predators and wildlife in Botswana, um, to make people feel inspired by these incredible animals that they do share the land with. Uh, we go to schools and we give talks and we invite schools to join their game reserve so they can uh, see animals in their natural habitat and get the chance of seeing a cheetah.
So I hope I've given you a good overview of what cheetah conservation Botswana is about. We focus on working together with rural communities to open a way to the future for endangered species such as the cheetahs and Botswana's rich variety of predators and wildlife that is so unique in Africa today. So we hope you'll join us in protecting this elegant endangered cat and ensuring that the spirit of the Kalahari, its wildlife, culture and habitats will not fade away and become a thing of the past.